In today's video, we're diving into a highly requested topic from our viewers. How to implement the Alenium Appearance script as a replacement for the QBE clothing script in your server. The Alenium Appearance mod introduces a plethora of advanced features, offering a more immersive and detailed clothing experience for your players. However, it's important to note that while these enhancements can significantly upgrade the aesthetic aspects of your game, they might also lead to compatibility issues with other scripts you have in place. This guide is designed for those who are confident in troubleshooting and resolving potential conflicts that may arise. So, if you're ready to enhance your server with new clothing features, but are also prepared to tackle the challenges that come with it, you're in the right place. Let's get started on this exciting upgrade, ensuring you have all the knowledge needed to make a smooth transition. To kickstart this exciting update for your 5M server first, make your way to our GitHub page. For your convenience, we've placed the link directly in the video description. Before you proceed with the download, it's crucial to visit the documentation page to familiarize yourself with the setup process. Additionally, ensure you download the necessary aux underscore libid dependency file to avoid any hiccups during installation. Once you've downloaded the file, unzip it and then copy and paste it into your server directory. It's important to initialize aux underscore libya first to ensure that everything runs smoothly. Next, navigate to your QB folder and remove the QB clothing script to prevent any conflicts. Lastly, head over to QB Apartments and open the FX Manifest Lua file. Here, you'll need to remove any references to QB clothing. This step is crucial to ensure that no errors appear in the console during server startup. To proceed with updating your 5M server, begin by renaming the downloaded script folder to remove the word main, if present, ensuring correct script identification. Next, navigate to the script's SQL folder for database preparation. You'll need to open your database and delete the player underscore outfits table to avoid conflicts between the old and new clothing scripts. If your server is fresh without existing data, consider also deleting the player skins table. However, since I already have skin data I wish to retain, I won't be deleting this table. Finally, import all three SQL files found in the SQL folder into your database, setting up the necessary structure for the new clothing script to operate properly. To adapt the QB multi-character or any other multi-character resource to work with Alenium Appearance, it's necessary to make some modifications to the default QB clothing resource. Only a few multi-character resources are compatible with Alenium. To make these changes, first open the QB multi-character and navigate to the server folder, then open the main file. Use the search bar to find the getSkin function. Copy the code from the documentation and replace the existing code in the main folder. Next, go to the client slash main directory and search for the next event. Since I have a slightly different version of multi-character, I had to locate the event manually. Replace the event with the snippet provided in the documentation. Remember, the last line of code should include the setup character callback event. For migrating old skins to the new clothing menu, you will need to follow a specific procedure. First, go to the documentation and copy the snippet provided for the QB underscore clothing migration. Remember, when you log into the game, your character will appear with the default skin. To revert to your old skin, Simply paste the copied snippet into the chat.
Now, let's proceed to the clothing shop to explore more features. The UI for the clothing menu has undergone a complete rework, offering a much more intuitive and user-friendly experience. One of the significant improvements is the ability to easily view your character from different angles, including the back and sides, in a smooth transition. This enhancement makes it easier to get a comprehensive view of how different outfits look on your character from all directions. Moreover, the new system allows you to save and update your clothes, which adds a convenient layer of customization and personalization to your gaming experience. Perhaps the best feature introduced is the sharing of clothing codes. With this functionality, you can generate a code for the outfit your character is wearing. Other players can then use this code to import your character's clothes into their own game. This feature not only promotes a sense of community and sharing, but also allows for a diverse array of clothing styles and preferences to circulate within the game, enhancing the overall experience. When you open the configuration file of the script, you'll discover a wide array of customizable features. These include the ability to change the pricing for barber services, clothing, and tattoos. Additionally, you can enable various systems such as the target system and radial menu, among others, to enhance the user interface and interaction within the game. As you scroll through the configuration file, you will find options to modify the coordinates for clothing shops. By default, these coordinates are set to match those of the old QB clothing locations, allowing for a seamless transition for players who are familiar with the original setup. An exciting extra feature included in the update is the integration of a boss menu for organizations. Through this boss menu, leaders or designated members of an organization can set uniforms for their group. Remember, the key to maximizing your experience with these new features is to explore, experiment, and engage with the community. Sharing clothing codes, setting organization uniforms, and customizing your character to your heart's content are just the beginning of what you can achieve. We hope this video has been informative and has sparked your creativity for your in-game character customization. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Dive back into the game, test out these new features, and make your mark in the virtual world with your unique style and flair. Until next time, happy gaming. A quick update on our Discord community. The Exquis, previously a separate entity within our main Discord, has now been integrated into a single unified platform. I'm thrilled to introduce Coden, our dedicated 5M developer hub. With over 650 active users and developers, Coden serves as a vibrant space for those seeking assistance and those eager to lend their expertise. In an effort to streamline support and collaboration, I've restructured the Discord to cater to specific frameworks, making it easier for members to find the help they need. Additionally, I've set up forums where I'll be sharing my latest videos directly, ensuring you have hassle-free access to new script links without the interruption of ads. A extra user forum also provide a space for members to exchange free scripts, request videos on specific topics, and we also have developers who create custom vehicles and Vinewood logo sign from scratch. Coden is not just a hub for sharing knowledge. It's a community where creativity and collaboration thrive. We're also on the lookout for moderators to help maintain a supportive and engaging environment. So if you're passionate about 5M development eager to learn, share, or simply be part of an active developer community, Coden is the place for you. Join us and be part of our growing 5M Developer Hub. Your journey to mastering 5M development starts here.